Hi, this video is a screen, screencast showing how to create the files that you'll need for projects 7 and 8. Those are the files that use structs and then write the structs to a, a data file on your computer and read them back in. <clears throat> so we'll start with the simple part. This is my catch.h hash include file. This file defines the struct that I'm going to use to store information about, you guessed it, cats. Uh, I have three members in this struct. It's a very simple struct. It's got a character array 50 name, a character array 30 color, and a double for weight. Now you'll use a struct that you select from the discussion forum when you choose a topic. And you'll create members in your struct to represent the data you need to keep on your cars or phones or sports or whatever topic you've chosen. But your struct definition will look basically just like this. And in your main.c program, when you hash include your .h file, you'll use this name right here, the structure tag, to refer to the type. So I can talk about cats in my main.c program as if cat were a built-in type. Note that lines 3, 4, and 12 are called guards. They prevent the accidental inclusion of that .h file more than one time. 